Hey, what's up guys, Pro J here, and today we're going to be taking a look at how you can blur things in Sony Vegas. This will be useful if you're making a tutorial and you need to block out credentials, passwords, or other things you don't want anybody to see. It also makes things in the foreground pop a lot more. So, to go over it briefly, you won't need any additional plugins and it works for images, text, and video files. And there are two types that I will show you today. One being the pixelate effect and the other being the blur, but they both do the same thing. Okay, so now that you have Sony Vegas open, the first thing you want to do is you want to drag your clip onto the timeline. Like I've done here, I've just got a section from Advanced Warfare, it's just like the um, Xbox Live title screen. And what you want to do is you want to right click, go onto properties, disable the resample and maintain aspect ratio. Like you should do with pretty much any other video that you put in the timeline. What this does is it stretches the output so that um, if you've got any errors on here, it'll actually sort, of sort that out with um, the frame size. And at the same time, it'll get rid of the sort of ghosting effect that you can get. So after you've done that, as you can see, um, with any other video type, and it pretty much should be standard, it's synced it up. Um, the audio is already synced up to the video. And we don't want to actually want that, because when we copy and paste the video, it will have the audio, like two audio tracks, as opposed to one. So what we'll do is we'll ungroup that by clicking U, and as you can see, the video and audio file is separate now. You want to right click on here, on the track, and go insert video track, or you can click Control shift q And by holding Control and left holding um, or left clicking or dragging the mouse upwards what you should get is basically two of the same video files and an audio file again the reason we had to ungroup it was so that it didn't create two audio files after that you want to click on all of them by um, holding control and click G to group them again and it's as if nothing actually happened and as we scroll through this nothing's actually happened so now what we want to do is we want to open um, the event or pan effect and the actual um, bit that I'm going to do, let's restore that. The bit that we want to do is um, this bit right here where it says one, um, 1 slash 12 players and then my username. We want to basically get rid of that by pixelating it. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on mask, check that box. And then um, there's three different creation tools that you can use. You can use the oval, the rectangle or the regular mask tool. Um, since it's a rectangle, I'm just actually going to use a rectangle. Click on that. And I'm going to select that and basically go over it. And what's that? Um, what that's done is it's created a mask. And you can't actually see it because we've got the track below it and we've still got the whole screen on that. So nothing's actually happened. But you basically want to select that, click Ctrl C, go onto here, Ctrl V, and it's copied and pasted the mask so it's on the whole thing now as opposed to just in the middle. And after that, you want to select the same track which you applied the pan crop, which should be the top one. And you want to click on event effects. And after that, you can select one of two things. If you've actually gone the mask route and had to do it um, on separate parts of the actual screen, then I would recommend going for Sony Pixelate. And if you're doing the whole screen, like you can see in some of my intros where I have an overlay on top, I would recommend going for Sony Gaussian Blur. So quite simply, if it's the whole screen, Gaussian Blur probably looks better. And if it's just a section, Sony Pixelate. So after we've got Sony Pixelate for this example, I'm just going to click Add and OK. And what you'll see is, is that as we start to crank up the horizontal pixelation, it starts doing it to that. So we'll just move these up a bit, adjust them. And as you can see, it's sort of blurred that out, if you like. It's sort of pixelated it. So now if we run that, I'm not going to run it at best because that would be mad. It would lag like crazy. But if we run that... As you can see, this is sort of being blurred out and everything else is still within focus. So that's been it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it and found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, put them in the comments below. This has been Proto, and I'm out.